Uh, so, um, answering questions about the history of the H.5 boilerplate in video format. Boom! Oh, why was the project started while at Molecular? Um, basically, you know, Molecular became ISOBAR, but anyways, a design, ag design interactive agency. We made websites. I noticed on making websites that there was a number of things that I copy-pasted from project to project. I would end a project and then I would have all these things that were like pretty general and low level and baseline that I would be like, this is good and I will just use this on the next one. And, um, and so that was kind of the basis of it. I And then I just put those into a single document um, and, um, and that was the genesis. Um, it kind of uh, was also a part of the standards um, document that I have here um, that uh, I wanted to not only collect our workflow and development best practices but um, but the base the baseline code template was part of it um, and so it kind of happened at the same time and it was just something that I thought was good because they were all good practices that we were reusing um, so I was just crazy about it and that I actually told um, my my bosses, I was like, wouldn't it be great if our company actually shipped a project that was a starting template for all web developers? And they're like, that would be cool. And I was like, yeah, it would be. And then, um, and then at some point, uh, well, then I left the company and, um, and then I shipped it. So I guess it would have been Cool if they had done that. Kind of like Zerb Foundation, I guess. Um, the standards project um, started, I don't know, whenever we announced it on the blog, um, I'll put a link in here to the blog announcement, um, is when it shipped. And it started, let's say, nine months before that. Probably more. I don't know. Um, Okay, anyways. Um, yeah, Divya was the first contributor. I... Uh, I think Divya and I met in person at South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. And we went to... Um, What's that? That coffee place with the, that has the um, s'mores that everyone goes to. Anyways, we went there, and that's, I think, where I told her about the project. And, um, and then when we got back, we were just talking on, on IM a lot, and, um, and that's when uh, she contributed uh, initially her first contribution. And that's when we started moving. So, uh, yeah, she, uh, Divya was probably the first person in the new repo. I think, I'm trying to think if I had contributors when it was still a molecular project. I, um, it's likely. Um, Adam McIntyre and Rob Larson, um, let's say that they contributed before Divya, um, when it was still being tweaked inside as a molecular project. That, I think that's likely. Um, and both of them, I, Rob for sure, contributed uh, uh, to the project after it went into GitHub. <coughs> um, so, Hot Pink, I, to be honest, why Hot Pink? I think it was due to um, Dribble. I think I saw it on, on Dan Cedarholm's Dribble, and I was like, this pink is really hot. And he used it for the text selection color. And and I just thought it was sexy. Um, and if any color is like hot pink and catches your eye, or <laughs> if any color is hot and sexy and catches your eye, it's hot pink. Um, I, I think it just lends a little bit of fun and... Uh, um, that's just so nice. It's a lot, like, like, oh, one second, please. 